it's big for us just to get, uh, have a week to you know get back healthy and just get refocused and just work on our fundamentals and small things that help us you know have success as a team and it's just a big you know a big thing for us just eight weeks straight you know just getting pounded it's just going week in week out winning the game then having to refocus on another team right away just it's just big for us to uh, have a week just to get healthy, take care of our bodies, and just refocus. What about you personally, though? <laughs> it's real big for me. You know, had a couple dings here, a couple you know, bruises and nick snacks here, but you know, just this week, I think should take care of all that and just you know, it's just a bit, you know, just from a personal standpoint, just being able to kind of rest a little bit, not having to you know worry about a full game plan right away, and just it's just a big thing for me to get refocused and re re-energized for the second half of the season. Mark, you guys come into the, to the break 8 0 right now. Talk about what it's like knowing that from here on out there's going to be no more easy games. You guys are going to have a huge target on your back for the rest of the season. Um, yeah, it's the second half of the season, and it's just all, every we're just going to approach it like we have, you know, like we did uh, in the first half. Just one, one game at a time, one day at a time, just, you know, executing our game plans, trying to improve as individuals and trying to improve as a team each and every week. And, you know, we're just going to work hard and, you know, try and finish off this second half of the season strong. Mark, this week in the, uh, the this week in practice, you know, what do you focus on, knowing that you don't have a game? Um, just getting back to doing the small things right, doing the small things that help you have success as an individual and and as an offense and as a team. You know, um, during the year you kind of get away from the little things. Just you know, like Coach said, you know, just taking your steps here or. You know, your drops or jam, jamming with the right arm or just getting back to the small things, the techniques that help you be successful as, an, as a team. Is it easy to forget those during, during the season? Yeah, it's real easy to forget them. You just be so worried about, you know, what, what the defense is going to do when they're in this look or what their tendencies are when they line up in this or just, you know, just as an offense, just focusing on just red area or third down here or, you know, just running the ball or passing the ball. You know, you just get away from the small things sometimes. And, the bye week is just a big thing for us, just to get refocused. You know, like 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 Julio in the beginning of the season, he was going double team. Now it looks like with Tennessee, they're going to start stacking the box now. You know, LSU's probably going to play eight nine in the box, force McAvoy to pass. And, you know, how do you how do you prepare for something like that? Just you like, like a challenge. Yeah, of course you like the challenge. That shows that people respect the running game. But you know, once we get everything clicking and everything going, they're just going to have to. You know, play is fair. You know, not stack the box because Julio or Mays or Hanks or any of the receivers are going to have a big game. So, you know, it's just a matter of time before we get everything back clicking. And this week is just real good for us, so we can, uh, you know, get refocused and get everything back in sync with our offense. Mark, what do you attribute that fumble? Just lack of being aware of the situation. I would say um, three minutes to go. The only way you can mess up or give them an opportunity to have the ball back is by a turnover and uh, they made a great play uh, there was, I could have prevented it you know but you just live and you learn from that in some ways do you feel Cody bailed you out most definitely like just standing on the sideline you know those last three minutes was difficult for me I just felt helpless you know that I couldn't do anything I was just on the sideline just watching just hoping you know and um, came up big blocked two field goals and the one on the last play of the game, so, you know, so you know, I just, you know, I might need to take him to get some, I told him I was going to take him to get some ice cream or so. so. <laughs> Mark, I asked you uh, earlier in the season about when Greg McRoy was having some issues and he was throwing some picks, and what do you say to him, and, and how do you get him back up? What did the guys say to you on the sidelines? Because you've had a great number of carries without a fumble, and it seems like you, you were pretty hard on yourself, but you've had so much success, and you've been a key to the success of this football team. What did your teammates say to you? They were all just, you know, pat me on the head just telling me not to worry about it, let it go, not to beat myself up over it. But like me, I'm so hard on myself, so self critical all the time. Like I really wasn't hearing none of that. And I just kinda wanted to be by myself on the sideline even though everybody was trying to get me up. But I knew just how critical it was, how bad of a mistake, how it could have hurt our team and affected, you know, our season and you know, it just hurt me more than anything and I didn't want to let my teammates down, you know, it was three minutes to go in there putting the ball in my hands trying to milk the clock and I let everybody down so I was just kind of disappointed in myself. Looking forward to making it up at LSU? Yeah, most definitely. Got to make it up.